Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new Halakha for you, and it's for Friday, the second day of March. Here we go. First of all, I want to remind you again that it's uh, Parsha Zohar this Shabbos. Please make sure to get to Shul and hear the special Torah reading all about uh, how we have to eradicate the memory of Amalek. That happens this Shabbos. Now, a law that you'll need to know for Tanis Esther, the fast of Esther, that's the day before Purim, that's Wednesday this coming week. Um, because Purim starts on Wednesday night. All day Wednesday will be the fast of Esther, and that fast starts at uh, 72 minutes before sunrise, and then it ends, um, well, it's a little shaky there on how I should say it ends. It really ends after you hear the reading of the Megillah, okay? So you're supposed to keep fasting until after you hear the Megillah. Officially, all fasts usually, I think all of our fasts, end at uh, nightfall when three stars are visible in the sky. But instead of eating right then when three stars are visible, we say, well, cool it and wait until the Megillah is finished being read. And after you fulfill that mitzvah, that's when it's a good time for you to go out and eat. That's how it's supposed to be. And uh, that's what I would suggest you do. Now, if you're feeling weak or sick, and uh, you're feeling like I'm not even going to be able to make it through the Megillah, then there are those who say, you should speak to your rabbi that a small, small drink of something just to get you through the reading of the Megillah would be acceptable if you need to. So speak to a rabbi certainly in advance if you know that that might happen to you so that you'll be like, you know, all prepared in advance for this situation. But uh, that's the small leeway that is available for those who are feeling like, uh, well, you know, it's a 45 minute uh, Megillah reading. I might not be able to concentrate on all that. And if I have a little little drink right before the Megillah, I might be fine. Ask your rabbi again, but uh, that might be allowable in those situations. For those people who are feeling ill on the day of the fast of Esther, there is leniency there too. But again, please speak to your rabbi instead of making those kinds of decisions on your own. Thanks for logging on and log on again after Shabbos for more. Bye-bye.